Hi, my friends. How are you doing? Okay, I hope you're doing really great. You and all your family, neighbors, right? Okay, so I have a few words now for you willing to attend this one of these two conferences and also for those applying for special positions. The special positions are the 10 department directors, the president, the county president, the state governor, the city mayor and county mayor, all right? So, for everyone applying for the organization, a special position. Okay, so the families, you do everything that's there on this email, right, um, um, that I already posted with all details from August 1st. Okay, you're going to get do. Uh, fill out, write yourself, lead of authorization for health exams. You're going to type, print, the whole family going to sign, you know, because the youngest is going to be eight years old, the whole family going to sign. And uh, for those applying for present, going to give, send the one email to us. Everyone else going to send, and, and those that want to apply for this extra four weeks, that's okay. For everyone else, they're going to apply straight to their own school or their own university according to what um, their position. Okay, in a few words, we are going to have a complete blood test, a complete blood test with everything you can imagine. So that's the item number one, you know, authorize, um, I declare for due purposes that I authorize the Clean Water and Peace Organization to do um, all those exams as soon as we arrive at the conference location, okay? All right, so and then you're going to put everyone's line. They're going to write their name themselves really clearly, sign in the front, and then put the birth date and the date they're signing, okay? At the end, you're just going to write details like um, your complete, home address, um, and again, the signature of the father and the mother, and um, the two fingers from everyone in front of their signature, and done. You scan and add to that one email. Okay, so the number one is a complete health exam, a complete one. You're going to do one at your own city, and if you're coming to international conference or this extra four weeks conference that we are having, you're going to do everything again. All right, and then you're going to have a complete dental x-ray. The dental x-ray is to see if you really don't have any cavity, you know, everything is well, and also make sure you don't have any uh, plug. Maybe you don't even know, right? Because people do surgeries in the past, and, you know, or you don't have any ear, tiny speaker, you don't have anything in your lungs, anything, because people do C-session, people do heart surgery. You cannot come if you have a heart surgery before, and you cannot come if you have a C-session. Why those two things? Because some people, some countries, they're crazy. They put ships in your belly, don't even know, ships in your artery. So those two types of mothers, they cannot come. If they have a C-session or male or female that have a heart surgery or anything else on their body as a surgery, they cannot come, okay? You cannot have any surgery of any type. That's an update. All right. The number three, it's a complete health exam. Remember, all oh, those health exams, the complete skin test, the complete swab, internal female test, the... the Complete everything, okay? All right. The other one is the um, is the lung X-ray. You know, okay. So that's the number four. Another point for you to put as objective point. And the other one is for the ultrasound, the all the body. You know, ultrasound. Okay, that's very important. And the skin check uh, gonna include you cannot have scars of any type because if a tiny cut people put things there so you cannot have scars in your face, in your ear, in your body, not at your um, legs, 
okay? Not the upper part, not the bottom part. You cannot have any surgery on a past and also, of course, no marks from any surgery, okay? So, for us to be safe and make sure that no one will have any chip of any type. Those applying for universities, they apply, they do everything. After that, they have to redo it. All those exams again at our chosen lab, at our chosen clinic for x-rays and, um, and um, how you call, ultrasound. Okay? All right. We're doing really great. Now I'm going to tell you quick the exams we're going to do. Some going to be a swab as well, but all of them going to be blood for sure. Okay? If you come into international conference or if you're applying at your own country, and then you have to do again at our chosen clinic and chosen lab. Okay, those are hepatitis B, syphilis, glandia, gonorrhea, hepatitis, hepatitis, herbs, HIV, human papilloma virus, pelvic inflammatory disease, bacterial vaginosis, STD risk and oral, you know, for, for oral sex, and trichromoniasis. All of these you're going to do. That also include the cramcroid and the scabies. Why? Because we need people that are really healthy only. Okay? All right. The blood test is going to include... Um, let me tell you, because it's very important for you to do there and repeat also as well. Okay. The blood test is going to include four things. going to include the erythrogram, the leucogram, the platelet count, the rhythmogram, and um, the sugar for diabetes. You know, that's not the, you're not going to take that very sweet liquid. But we are going to do the diabetes as well. All right? And then you're also going to have the thyroid test. Um, and that's it. The others are already said. Okay? All right, my friends. So, here it is. And please apply soon. You have to arrive four days before the international conference start. If you come in for the first conference or if you come in for the second conference. All right, so we have time to check all these families, everyone from children to elders, okay, the grandparents. Okay, so here's the headquarters and we see you soon. Thank you.